All right, well, um, I'm going to talk about the video producer co-op idea a little bit. Also, a conference report has said that Gloom Boom and Doom got flagged off the internet. I don't know if this is some sort of a prank or what, but I went to Gloom Boom and Doom's channel, and it's still there. I haven't watched Gary's videos since he called me a child molester in Stick'em. And it was not the first time. He was baited into it by me saying there was no reason to call me a child abuser. And then he went straight to that. I just haven't felt like watching his videos since, since then, you know? And that's just the, the way that it is. I like watching Gary's video, but he blocks me, making it more difficult. So I have to type in his channel names and search. Oh, I could have a link. Well, I don't work with links. Bookmarks suck. Um... I'll probably watch again when I get my subscription feature on my site because I'm making that site as an interface for me to use YouTube the way I use it. So I think some of you might use it when I open it up to testing it so that you guys can get some features you want because it really doesn't matter to me. I mean, I'm putting ads on there so that if people do use it and I start getting hit with storage fees and things, you know, Google's sites that aren't free forever, that it can scale. But I, I, it's a tool for myself and one of the things is so it makes it easier to track people but I don't see that he's down and the other thing is you know about free speech uh, that Bark Lord brought up it's and whatnot it's like I think Bark Lord has a good point um, but uh, you know there's many ways to look at it. it's like uh, I mean Gary would say, well, it's not about free speech, it's just my channel. Yeah, but what if you own a whole website? Then it's just your website, you know, like Bork, Barklord said. I mean, if it's okay to block people from your channel, you don't want to hear their view, why can't the guy owning the site do that? If you, Gary, were to run the video producer co-op, does everybody, you know, is to be serious and every member is assured they have their right, you know, to be there and use it, you know, or... You know, maybe in this case under a, a a contract of that sort. But what if you just own the company and you're going, hey, my, I want free speech. Would you really maintain it, or would other people trust you to? And should they? Yeah, it matters if you practice in the domains you control. What you think those that control your domain should practice is called hypocrisy. When you don't, okay. So. Um, yeah, but this is about the video producer co-op. Okay, so the thing is, for me, it's a bit of a distraction. Um, I had decided to wait before I tried, uh, you know, starting a video storage server because I don't really need it for my purposes. I believe the ultimate in um, security is not even using a co-op that's secure. It could be designed, but it's still just a fortress that could be broken down or attacked by the legal system, or maybe somebody uploads a WikiLeaks thing and the feds come in. And just, you know, it's still just one organization. The real security is if you have a conversational website, an inter interface for that, where you can store videos wherever. It could be, you could upload the video to your own blog with your storage space and use the flow player and my website would be you know I plan to make my website able to play that the same way it's doing the YouTube videos now YouTube is really easy and as it happens YouTube is very very open what they expose is amazing I mean some of it works a bit crap because it's not necessarily designed like the comment system you can add comments and stuff but just getting them is so expensive it's much more expensive than YouTube but then you notice at YouTube the comments are kind of handled uh, in a, in, badly and oddly a lot too. Um, it's just it's just what they were designed for. But you know they expose them to a third party site in a way where you're not making queries on the database. You're getting this XML, so it's it's real inefficient. But at least they expose it and they expose all kinds of stuff. And you can upload videos and you could do ratings. And if you log into a site I make with your YouTube ID I don't have any of that information but while you're logged in you can do YouTube things you can rate videos or leave comments or upload videos and without trusting me uh, because you're logged into Google the only reason it works is because you're logged into YouTube as well 
right? So I would say upload the video because you're logged into YouTube, it could be done. So that's just a useful way, it's pretty flexible. And, um, and so to make a, a video service, to me that's not a research and development new feature kind of thing, right? It's, it's, it's a sociological thing and I'm interested in it. But technologically, you know, I'm just offering to make sure there's a website around something like that, you know, at least a basic website, a place to store videos and archive videos and have some security and and be storing your videos in a place that's a a union of people that need a place to store videos. Um, some people have shown interest, even that they they would take part in the, you know, paying a small sum to start this co-op would be fine. Uh, my PM box has not, ex you know, exactly been overflowing. My experience, and I've been there too, where like, oh, that's a good idea, but sorry, I'm doing something else right now with my time. Um, it takes a force sometimes, even when it's crystallizing, and a lot of people want some. This takes a force just to do it. Well, I'm not going to devote all my time. I want to make these structured conversation features. I'm going to slowly grow the video co-op idea. And I will end up doing it because it's successful. Let me tell you uh, what it is. Because I, if people are interested, if I had a group of five people who are like, no, we want to make this happen, I am enough of let's make it happen. I just know I don't want to just soak my whole time into it. But if we had five people, I would interrupt my other development, make sure that we set ourselves up technically, that we had a site where you could upload and view videos in some simple way. And then I'd be working on my site with more sophisticated and hopefully people in the co-op would, you know, be part of the beta so they could get that interface, which will be where I put the most sophistication in my work uh, for the interface. Uh, you know, they would help to influence that. Um, but, I, but I would make a basic interface, you know, um, uh, well, I would make sure it's available. The thing is, if you pay for a video ISP, it'll have some interface where you can do that. It's not going to have a lot. Of, it's not going to have a profile for you and stuff like this. It's going to be a video viewing, you know, a video file folder, you know, iTunes, a web page for the videos you've uploaded. I'll make sure that's all working. Um, what it is basically to, to start this at the very basic level. Um, it, twenty bucks. 10 bucks some places for something that's going to support 10 or 20 users and by support 10 or 20 users that means those people can have a conversation with each other and other people will have trouble at some point you know uh, getting the data I talked in terms of connections but actually you're charged by your bandwidth usually some people will charge you in connections and it's kind of like an insurance thing they're taking some of the risk on what your actual traffic behavior will be. Um, but you really get charged on your, your peak bandwidth uh, allowances, your total monthly bandwidth allowances, and your disk space. And the disk space sneaks up on you. Because once you start having a lot of disk space, yeah, you gotta pay for more. And, um, you know, if you're gonna have hundreds and hundreds of hours of video, uh, you know, you need space for it, and it just, it's crazy if you let anybody go upload any old hijinks or anything. So I like the co-op model if only because okay we, we don't want to censor people but it's a co-op. This is a place to put your videos if you're in the co-op and if you're misusing the resource of course the co-op can eject you and so on and this will be one of the ways that we're not gonna let just cam porn collections be uploaded bullshit like this on my web on my interface you know you can enter any kind of video it doesn't care you could store it anywhere on the net so if people want to get together if we want to get together twenty dollars a month uh, ideally it would be good to get together at least three maybe six months worth of web space um, prepay or at least put the money in an account where, where we can pay. I mean, I'm not going to want to take a promise that somebody's going to send me $5 a month to help with this. So we have to deal with that. I, it ha can't be like I focus all my effort on just getting this thing going because 
I want to make a tool that potentially millions of people can use and it works with any website. And I want to start a video producer co-op and be a part of that for C1 started. But that's going to be just be the seed, you know, if there's 20 people in that co-op, that's a conversation you're having with 20 other people. You can't count on the other audience. And so you can't count on those people getting to use a tool that only works with that. So I don't want to focus just on that seed, but planting a seed, it's important, it's timing. I would love to plant that seed now because I would like in five years, something like that, to have 100,000 viewers, to be able to support you know, spikes in traffic because of semi-viral or viral videos or good arguments or exciting times in history that attract traffic. Five years I'd like to see a video co-op uh, with some free speech security exist. So maybe if we see this now, it can go. So I'm into that. I'm going to do it anyway. If I do it on my own without people coming and help motivating by saying, no, I really want to do it and I'll do this part and I'll watch the thing and I know how to program, I'll make the website, I'll make a logo, whatever, to, to bring it together. And to with what uh, what I will add, um, besides obvious, you know, my position on this kind of thing is, you know, I'll get it technically so that people can log in and have some help, you know, whatever the website itself, and um, and I'll make my website my player, a uh, hook to it, and you know, I'm going to make a player that um, the other versions of the of the player. I mean, I'll run the player app right now as a node editor, so you know, um, I would do that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, if people want to get together and motivate, sure, let's do it. We'll, we'll do it. We'll plant the seed right now. And I just would hope to get a dozen people in there that I like to talk to because I honestly don't care if anybody else watches the videos per se. I like that it's public. It's in the public record that people can see it. But if, you know, 300 people want to watch it and 200 of them can't get in because they haven't paid their subscription and there's a limited, you know, only 20 people are paying for connections. I'm fine with that. You know, I want it to go beyond the 20 people, but I'm fine with it just being a few beyond. You know, those people, if they really want to watch the conversation, they can pay. And if people want to be in the conversation, they can do it without paying, but they might find they try to upload their video and it says, can't upload now, no free connections. But then they can join. Uh, and over time that could grow. So um, yeah, I don't understand why supposedly Gloom is flagged. I don't see that. I don't know what that's about, if that's an artwork or something. Um, and this is just a ramble on this subject, but um, yeah, I uh, if, if it's just on my own, I have moved this idea up to, you know, close to a front burner but it's still a little bit on simmer over to the side while I am definitely want to make keep making quick progress with the structured conversation tools of which the time code was the first uh, thing I decided to, to you know to release and um, and we'll just simmer the the idea now if you want to hear more about it uh, and you want to help make it happen and be a part of it then bring it up that, that'll help motivate me too, just to keep talking about it. Um, it's just that there's two versions of the idea. One idea is like, let's move quickly as a group, let's do it together. If that's natural, fine, I'm not going to manufacture consent on that. But I will take part. The other idea is, Piero has had ideas like this for years and years, and he's going to he's gonna work on it. And in that version, you know, I'm going to probably pay $15 a month for a minimal site so I can develop and I'll use it and uh, I'll let people that need things like that use it and maybe I'll say oh hey you guys I have a you know this co-op you know and I'll sell out the first 10 connections um, and who knows the time scale three months to a year doing all this stuff slowly uh, on the other hand probably when I finish the conversation feature I will have to want to support something besides YouTube just to make sure I don't go too far and making my site accidentally dependent on the way YouTube does things.